Welcome. Welcome to the We Robot Party. As 2025 kicks off, the spotlight once again shines on Tesla's groundbreaking humanoid robot. The Tesla bot is set to remain a hot topic in the tech community, thanks to bold new updates that push the boundaries of automation even further. The latest version is expected to take over everyday chores that people often neglect or don't have time for. Things like doing the dishes, preparing meals, and tidying up the house. But what's really stirring excitement is the upcoming release of the third generation model, known as Optimus Gen 3. Slated to debut early in the year, this version has undergone a complete overhaul, offering major enhancements in mobility and dexterity. Elon Musk has already stated that Tesla aims to produce at least 10,000 units by the end of the year, with a limited rollout to start. The big question now is whether Tesla can ramp up production to meet mass market demand, and whether we're witnessing the rise of the next generation of home assistants. While the Optimus Gen 2 amazed many with its capabilities, the Gen 3 promises to take things to an entirely new level. It will showcase newly engineered hands with more precise control, an updated physical design, and improved movement fluidity. Although the launch missed its initial target date in December, the robot is expected to hit the scene soon, boasting double the functionality of its predecessor. A standout feature is the redesigned hand system, which now offers twice as many degrees of freedom, allowing for much finer manipulation of objects. In one demonstration, the Gen 3 effortlessly caught a ball with impressive accuracy, something made possible by this advanced hand architecture. This leap forward doesn't just boost performance. It reshapes our expectations of what humanoid robots can achieve. Alongside the enhanced mechanics, the Gen 3 also gets upgraded sensors and better resistance to water, enabling it to handle a broader range of tasks with confidence. Where Gen 2 could fold clothes, the new model can go a step further, organizing garments by color and material, and even placing them neatly into drawers. That's a whole new level of helpful. Movement has also been refined. Lighter materials and more efficient actuators contribute to smoother, faster actions. And it's not just about what the robot can do. Tesla is also rethinking how it looks. Musk has hinted at a more polished aesthetic, with potential features like a facial screen or even customizable color options for users who want a personalized robot. Given all the new advancements in the third-generation Tesla bot, it's no surprise that its price tag will be significantly higher than the Gen 2, which was estimated between $2,000 and $30,000. The upcoming Gen 3 is projected to land somewhere between $50,000 and $80,000, firmly placing it in the premium category. It's clear this model is targeted at users who are looking for a top-tier, feature-rich robotic assistant with a refined design and expanded capabilities. But here's the real question. Does the price match the value? With double the functionality, more fluid movements, and an upgraded appearance, is the Gen 3 worth the investment? Some online users have joked that the bot still walks like President Joe Biden in slow motion. But Elon Musk offered an interesting perspective on X. Formerly Twitter, the robot operates as if it's blindfolded. Imagine navigating a slope without being able to see your own feet. You'd likely take cautious, hesitant steps too. That comparison helps reframe our expectations. In that situation, most of us would move slowly as well. It's important to look at Optimus from a realistic point of view, especially for those who might be disappointed by its current pace. The fact is, public perception has often been shaped by overly optimistic ideas of what robots should look and move like. When people see Optimus climbing a hill or crossing uneven terrain, it might appear sluggish. But that movement is intentional. It's meant to mimic how humans shift their center of gravity and move cautiously to maintain balance. In fact, it's achieving about 70% accuracy in replicating human-like walking patterns on tricky surfaces. Of course, Optimus doesn't look exactly like a person, and it's built differently, so it won't move like one either. Expecting perfect imitation is to overlook the massive engineering hurdles involved. Still, the robot's ability to walk over gravel or rocky ground and catch itself when it starts to lose balance shows just how far Tesla has come. 
That kind of reflex is incredibly difficult to program and is a testament to how advanced the bot's real-time decision-making has become. To someone unfamiliar with robotics, watching a robot walk up and down a slope may not seem impressive. But those who work in the field know how technically challenging it is. What makes Optimus stand out is not just that it can do it, but that it does so reliably in realistic settings, not just in labs or under control conditions. A big reason for this is Tesla's proprietary technology. The company has equipped Optimus with some of the fastest processors for making split-second decisions. According to Elon Musk, the robot's neural network, or brain, is among the most advanced on the planet. He has even claimed that Tesla leads the world in applying artificial intelligence to real-world robotics. And as more units are deployed, they'll continue learning and improving as a group, accelerating progress at a pace few other companies can match. One of the most groundbreaking aspects of the Optimus robot is its ability to instantly share new knowledge across the entire fleet. Whenever one unit learns something new, that skill or data becomes accessible to all others, creating a kind of shared intelligence that improves exponentially over time. This interconnected system is a major reason why Tesla maintains a considerable lead over its competitors and why catching up will be increasingly difficult for others. Now imagine a future where humanoid robots are a regular presence in our homes. Beyond taking on routine chores, it's entirely plausible that a robot like Optimus could eventually become a source of income, potentially generating up to $20,000 per year. Sounds futuristic? Perhaps. But remember, not long ago the idea of self-driving cars seemed like science fiction too, and today, autonomous vehicles are already operating safely on public roads. What once felt impossible is now becoming reality, and Tesla is driving much of that progress. Elon Musk's vision extends far beyond electric vehicles. He aims to redefine how we live and work. With Tesla bot Gen 2 positioned as a versatile assistant and projects like the CyberCab promising autonomous transportation, we're inching closer to a world where much of human labor could become optional. Currently, Optimus is being assembled at Tesla's Giga Texas facility, one of the most sophisticated manufacturing sites on the planet. Although the robot doesn't yet have a dedicated production line, around 100 units have already been handcrafted by the engineering team, reflecting Tesla's rapid prototyping approach and adaptability. At a showcase event last October, nearly 50 Optimus units were presented to the public interacting with attendees, and stealing the spotlight. So far, Tesla is the only company to demonstrate a working humanoid robot in a real-world setting, and not just as a lab prototype or scripted demonstration. Musk has made it clear that his ambition is to eventually mass-produce billions of Optimus bots. While that number may sound outrageous, Tesla has the tools, infrastructure, and drive to pursue such an enormous goal. As production ramps up, we can expect increasing levels of automation across the board, from structural assembly to software calibration and electronic integration. Here's something to consider. What if, one day, a Tesla bot could help build another Tesla bot? It may sound like something out of sci-fi film, but with Elon Musk leading the charge, that scenario might be closer than we think. Tesla's roadmap includes producing around 1 million units of Optimus by 2026, a bold but not unrealistic goal given the company's rapid development pace. And as our lives become more fast-paced and complex, the idea of having a humanoid assistant to help with household tasks like cleaning, laundry, cooking, pet care, or even supporting child education might soon shift from fantasy to everyday reality. Optimus has been intentionally designed to reflect human proportions and movement. Its physical dimensions are modeled after the human body, but its appearance avoids hyperrealism. Unlike robots like a mecha that feature highly human-like faces, Optimus features a minimalistic design, including a black head and an LED display, that feels familiar without crossing into the uncanny valley. This neutral appearance helps prevent discomfort especially for children. Despite being a machine, Optimus is equipped to communicate naturally with people using both speech and gestures. This makes interaction intuitive, 
particularly for younger family members. It also has the ability to read emotional cues and complete delicate tasks with great accuracy, thanks to a suite of advanced sensors and high-performance vision systems. The second generation of Tesla's humanoid robot, Optimus, now comes powered by the cutting-edge 4680 battery, a power source considered among the most advanced in the industry today. With an energy capacity of 2.5 kilowatt hours, Optimus is capable of operating independently for up to 10 hours at a time. This extended runtime means the robot can handle a wide range of duties without frequent recharging, resulting in a significant boost to productivity. A standout feature of Optimus is its hands, which boast 22 degrees of freedom, remarkably close to the 27 degrees found in the human hand. This advanced articulation allows the robot to carry out nearly 60% of the tasks we perform on a daily basis, making it highly versatile in practical settings. However, not everything has been met with applause. Concerns began circulating after it became known that certain demonstrations of the robot were being guided via remote control. This revelation led some to question whether Optimus truly possesses autonomous capabilities a critical factor for those considering investing in this kind of advanced technology. Elon Musk addressed the criticism by clarifying that using remote operation is a necessary part of the early development process. His explanation holds weight when we recall the initial skepticism surrounding the CyberCab, Tesla's fully autonomous vehicle concept introduced in 2019, which was designed without traditional controls like steering wheels or pedals. Despite delays and limited updates for years, the CyberCab finally made its public debut in October, matching Musk's original vision. Even so, it won't enter into regular service until around 2026. Optimus seems to be following a similar trajectory. Reaching full autonomy will require time, refinement, and vast amounts of data, much like Tesla's journey with self-driving cars. Still, the rapid progress observed in recent months suggests that Tesla is now putting even more emphasis on Optimus than on its automotive division. The robot's recent appearances in high-profile marketing campaigns, including one involving Kim Kardashian, reflect Tesla's growing confidence in the project. During the We Robot event in October, nearly all eyes were on Optimus. However, behind the scenes, Tesla engineers were controlling many of the robot's functions, including its movements and verbal responses. Reports say that Musk decided only three weeks before the event that he wanted Optimus to appear alongside the CyberCab, leaving little time for final software adjustments. As a result, remote control was necessary to ensure a seamless public demonstration. This approach wasn't just a backup plan. It helped deliver a smooth, engaging presentation. The same technique was used in a video showcasing Optimus testing its new hands, where remote operation allowed Tesla to demonstrate capabilities that are still under development. This is all part of the broader evolution of Optimus, taking place within Tesla's research facilities. As noted by Milan Kovac on X, formerly Twitter, the footage used during the presentation was filmed just the night before, with engineers operating the robot remotely in real time. Far from undermining its progress, this highlights Tesla's confidence in the roadmap ahead, with new iterations of the robot expected to embody the demonstrated features very soon. Elon Musk even teased that by the end of this year, Optimus might be able to catch a ball on its own. He mentioned that the integration of visual processing with coordinated arm movement is already scheduled for development in the next quarter. So, while the current demos are still controlled, they serve as a glimpse into future milestones Tesla aims to reach. From a broader perspective, using remote control at this stage isn't just reasonable, it's thrilling. It opens up life-saving applications in environments that are dangerous for humans, such as firefighting or disaster zones. Where people might face smoke or heat hazards, Optimus would continue functioning without risk. Tesla views this teleoperation ability as a crucial step forward, especially when compared to earlier reveals that left observers unsure about the robot's true independence. While it's true the human operators are still guiding the robot during live presentations, this is all part of its ongoing transition toward full autonomy.
Just like a human learning new skills, Optimus needs experience. During this training period, it's closely supervised and controlled by engineers while performing real-world tasks in both home and industrial settings. These sessions help it gather the essential data it needs to eventually function on its own, safely, reliably, and efficiently. With an expected price ranging between $20,000 and $30,000, Elon Musk has often emphasized that the Tesla bot Gen 2, Optimus, will be a smart long-term investment. Why? Because of the potential, it has to drastically cut labor costs. In a business context, Optimus could save companies up to $115,000 annually when compared to hiring a human worker. Even in a domestic setting, it's estimated to reduce household service expenses by as much as $6,000 each year, money that could be redirected to other important needs. But Optimus isn't just limited to cleaning floors or doing laundry. Its potential applications extend into fields like agriculture, where it could be used to maintain crops, harvest produce, or assist in managing livestock. In factories, it could help move materials, assemble components, or carry out detailed equipment inspections with high accuracy. Outfitted with multiple 2D cameras and sensors similar to those found in Tesla's vehicles, the robot can interpret movement, recognize human faces, and even detect unusual behavior making it suitable for roles in surveillance and security. Thanks to its robust 10-hour battery life, Optimus could serve as a nighttime security guard or provide daytime caregiving support. In healthcare scenarios, it might assist with moving patients, helping them eat, changing clothes, or even tracking vital signs like heart rate and blood pressure and transmitting that data in real time to medical staff. So what about you? Do you think the Tesla bot will actually reach consumers this year? What tasks would make you seriously consider bringing a robot like Optimus into your life? Share your thoughts in the comments. If you enjoyed this video and want to keep up with everything Tesla, from groundbreaking robotics to revolutionary transportation, hit that like button and don't forget to subscribe to the channel.